Hello friends, welcome to channel Reza Blade. I'm your friendly neighborhood Reza. I do tutorials, I do product reviews, I do design inspiration, nail art, etc, etc. Um, and today I have a fun special for you. I do this every now and then. Um, I have a stamping showdown today and we're doing two uh, well, it's the name of the hip at the bottles plate. The, the maniology plate only has a number, but I'm doing a sweet and scary showdown. Within days of each other, both maniology and hit the bottle came out with two frightening dessert stamping plates. And it was a sort of crazy cosmic conjunction that has to be marked by a stamping showdown video. So I have both plates. I did swatches. I did um, nail art swatches. I did manicures. As you can see, I'm still in my gloves. Hopefully my burn will have healed up okay within the next couple of days. I, I don't know. I still don't want to be wearing a giant bandage, but <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, but I'm hoping this is my last, my last gloves video, but do, do forgive me in the meantime. Anyway, you can see how many swatches I have for these, so I should probably get to the point. So first I'll show you both plates so you know kind of what we're working with. I've got the Maniology plate, which is seven or eight dollars. And we've got some kind of skull themed desserts. We've got um, a spoon or a straw in, po uh, <laughs> not popcorn, <laughs> it is a brain. Um, and the big multi-nail banana split with interesting grotesque eyeballs as cherries and a little finger sticking out there. Um, here's a fun all over image. You can use that in the background or as you know, you can peel these off and use these like, for example, that would work well on your pinky, that skull cone or whatever. Um, I really like this, uh, brain covered in sauce that has worms in it. I did I did do that nail art. You'll see what I did with it. Um, and the only words that are on this plate are sweet Halloween treats inside this cute little marquee. Maybe that's not a marquee, whatever. It is what it is. And this is probably one of my favorite images from this. Although I don't like all of the skulls they do as well. Um, I do like this cowboy big bowl skull. And then we've got some back in this is an all over tile. You'll see how I use this one. Interesting. We've got a mummy. We've got some people who have been cut up, maybe Franken cookies, etc., etc. Uh, these are cherries. I don't like these as well as hit the bottles cherries. I'll pull those out. But the heart cupcake, that is masterful. That is awesome. And of course, I like the skull cake. And the skullberry? I don't know. What would you call it? Um, all right, so that's that plate. And the hit the bottle plate is the big one. We have got all sorts of all over, t all over images of these motifs. Witch hat cupcakes, we've got some dripping licks, lips. Uh, sweet and scary, we've got a devil donut. I really do like these so much. You'll see there are multiple text options on this plate, which is very versatile. Uh, here's a cemetery cupcake. We've got spi spider web donuts with little spiders. Or maybe, I don't know. No, because that's a, just a regular old dunked donut with the icing on top. So that is different. So the, that's the kind of donut that the spiders are. We've got zombie pops and some sneaky wormy things. Some more really interesting shapes. I like the ice cream. Of course I like the ice cream. Lick it like an ice cream. We've got bite me, drink up witches, brain freeze, delicious trick or treat, eat, drink and be scary, dead and breakfast. Very, very good. So um, one thing that I will point out, I like, I like these uh, kind of zombie, zombie cookies or whatever, a little bit better than the, the style of the cookies on the um, maniology plate, but that is a style preference thing. Oh, we have gummy bears with masks on. And I did do that as a, uh, as a swatch. 
Let's see if I can find it anywhere. Here we go. I used all those little vacuoles or um, little bits of DNA and stuff, mitochondria. That is from the science plate that Hit the Bottle put out a little bit ago. Really great plate. I did, I actually did a uh, stamping showdown on the science plate too. If you don't recall it, it's called For the Love of Science, Hit the Bottle, and here is the tile I used right there. All right, you can put that aside now. Um, so let me show you the rest of these Hit the Bottle um, swatches. I do really like these cherries. I just really like the style of those. And they, you'll notice they have multi sizes of these images or motifs. So the witch hat cu cupcake comes in this big one and in these small ones. So on one hand, you have um, a great size decal for your thumb or middle finger or whatever, and as well for your pinky if you have shorter nails. Or, you know, you can use them as an all over background if you have longer nails. Just, there's so many options for you to kind of play with here. I do like the big old zombie pop. I used him. And there's a martini that has um, two eyeballs instead of olives or pearl onions. And I, here's some lips and stuff. I think these are little potion ampoules, but correct me if I'm wrong. I do, every now and then, <laughs> I do get an image really wrong. All right, so that is Dreadful Delights. That's the name of the stamping plate. Okay, so um, I've shown you each of the stamping plates. Probably what I'm gonna do next is show you the nail art. So here is one of the maniology motifs. I used the fingers background from another maniology plate. It's one of their um, collabs with the designer. I think it's the plate that has the word bones on it and the big old centipede or millipede. Um, but I, I'll put the number of it in the description box. All of this stuff will be in the description box um, with links and stuff below the video. So I did the fingers as a background and then I colored in the um, motif of the cupcake with all sorts of crap on it, stuff on it, sorry. And then this actually, this background is a dry brushing background so I started with one color and I just used a bunch of different kinds of purples and hot pink and stuff to, to create that background. So there's that one. Another maniology choice we have. I did tell you about this one. We've got the strawberry sauce with worms over a brain. And I did my breast, my breast, I did my best to color in the brain as realistically as I could, you know, whatever, but I tried. And then uh, some of these manicures I thought worked uh, against a traditional candy store background. So for example, this, this is irony, right? You've got this great little swirled candy background and the foreground is the image of the heart cupcake dripping in blood. So there. Um, let me show you this particular plate because I did... I did this, I used this, I used this, and I used this. And this isn't available. This was a polished pickup plate, but it is by Apipila. Anyway, um, so let me keep showing you these guys. This was supposed to be brains, but it didn't go great. I, I tried to kind of do a pink and gray thing here. And I used an old fashioned mint diagonal stripe there. So. I, I hope somebody likes that one. Uh, this one is pretty cool. I used a Manny by Me exclusive uh, design for the background. Uh, it's the coffee and tea plate collection. I mean, plate pair. And then I used a Skullberry uh, for the Maniology plate. And one more. It has those background images I told you about on the Maniology plate, and then the foreground is Sweet Halloween Treats, also from the Maniology plate, and I did the reverse stamping on this with a gold, tiny, tiny gold border with my skinny, skinny, skinniest brush. 
All right, two of these I wanted to kind of point out to you because I used both, um, both plates here. The background is a, uh, from Hit the Bottle, the foreground image with big obvious pins that I painted over uh, with the silver and the red. Uh, that is from Maniology's plate. So I hope you like this one. If I were wearing this out and about, I probably would have mattified it so you can see the image a little bit better. But I like it just fine when I'm looking at it back here. I like the gloss a bit. Um, all right, so those are those. Uh, that is one of the one that used both plates. This one also used both plates. You'll see I used the word sweet and scary like a quilt, quilt block, kind of. And then I put the skull cake right over, right over the text. I hope that one's all right, too. I, that one's one of my favorites. All right, so with the Hit the Bottle Skull Cherries, we're on Hit the Bottle ones now. Hit the Bottle Skull Cherries, I did them as Rainier Cherries. I don't know if you've ever heard of Rainier Cherries. They're my favorite. They're very expensive, but they have that gradient coloring of the yellow, orange, pink, cherry red, whatever. And then, of course, this is a bloody background that I did. I hope you like that one. That one is one of my favorites, I think, maybe. So here is the Apipila background of the uh, Sunday waffle cone thing. And then we have an ice cream from Hit the Bottles Plate on top. Reverse stamped, of course. There are four more. <laughs> All right, here's our devil donut. I did flames behind him. Uh, I used uh, Nevermind's Phoenix Fire, I think is the word for that polish. Uh, it's one of my favorite polishes of hers, still available. Um, I mattified it. The effect of Phoenix Fire is more mesmerizing when it's shiny, but I just wanted this image in matte. So that's why I did that. And let's see what else. We have some black reverse stamped lips on a bright green KB Shimmer polish. I just really like the effect of this. It's not necessarily like horror themed, but I think it gives off the vibe that I would be looking for on a day like today. And then the penultimate one, or the second to last one, I used an Ajubis background for this one. I just wanted something kind of funky. And then I did color in my zombie pop, and then I uh, mattified it. So I hope that one looks all right too. I kind of talked to him as I did my manicures. It was a little bit fun. And here's the one I showed you back before. Um, this is a bear, gummy bear in a mask. And we've got all those little tiny, tiny critters behind him. So what do you think? Which one's your favorite of these? I have more to show you. <laughs> I have to put these aside though. Oh my goodness. So I showed you those two plates. Let me show you the manicures and then I want to show you but these two new polishes too. Actually, let's take a break for manicures. Let's do this brand new. This reminds me of kind of a claret color or a wine. And this is Partners in Wine, a new color. And look at that over black every time. It never fails. Hit the bottle polishes just always do the thing. They're ex exceptional. I know I usually say superlative things about the Hit the Bottle polishes, but they're very true. Midnight Ink and Partners in Wine. This is just one coat each. And then of course Midnight Ink is not gonna show up on black. It is, uh, it's like the dark blue that you would use to line things with or to stamp with for reverse stamping if you're, you just need it not to be black, but you need it to show up really well. And here's the color on white and never you mind on black. So I also have a giveaway at the end. I'm discussing a giveaway at the end. So stick around for my um, conclusions and my, uh, and my manicures. So here, these were destined for my poor fingers that are burned and not okay. Um, this particular mani I did uh, as an ombre or gradient rather, well, both really. Um, so on the left is a witch hat over a uh, yellow to orange. And then here's a more realistic background, which uh, it's, an, it's kind of a, you know, a fun Halloween spooky, uh, 
scene for the sky. Uh, we've got her going over a tomb, over a graveyard. So the tombstone and witch hat kind of theme is there. And then we go to the ring finger, which is a graveyard cupcake. And then we have both motifs in small, tiny, tiny size on the, uh, on the pinky finger. Uh, I just, I, I, I dreamed this one kind of, I guess, as I was waking up a few weeks ago and I really like that one. Here's the other one. This one is kind of based on its iridescence and uh, just all the different colors that I could pick up. Here's like a pink to green and I use those tiny little cherries from, I tell you where I stole those from because if you blink, you'll miss them. But this full nail image here with these tiny cherries, I just picked those up a billion times and I tried to be equidistant as I could. I might not have done perfectly, but I hope it was okay. And then the main two nails or the main nail art, nail art um, is spider webs. And then in front of them, here's a skull Sunday. I did tell you I liked that, uh, I liked that image and here are the skull cherries from Maniology's plate and I did those as just white skulls because I wanted to. So what am I giving away before I tell you the conclusions, who won and everything? There is a plate that was just released by um, Hit the Bottle called Embrace the Darkness 03. Um, if you watch my channel, you've seen the 01 and 02. I use them a lot during the year, not just in Halloween. And um, this is no exception. It is a superlative plate, all sorts of awesome designs that are great. And I am giving one away uh, in one Sunday from today. The competition, well, the competition, the entry, you can, you can join to enter both on videos as I release them, well, I'll, I'll tell you which one, and on Instagram. So keep an eye out for my next video and uh, I'll tell you how to enter. But I just wanted to show you that I'm giving away one of these. Uh, today is the 31st of October when I am filming this and now I am going to tell you who won. So here, I've got pros for Hit the Bottle, okay? Multiple sizes of motifs. No fewer than eight all over patterned images have larger full nail companion image, uh, images like this zombie pop and the tiny zombie pops. Like you've got all of these companions. So your mani can flow naturally from nail to nail. Uh, but if you have very short nails, you, you're, you're fine with this plate anyway because you can use these, these very small ones. Like, you know, it, it just, it goes really well. Uh, uh, if I were to, to call this plate something in particular, I would say that there are, on average, there are cuter designs than the Maniology plate. Like the ice cream, that's adorable. I love it. Um, and just all sorts of, all sorts of uh, things. So anyway, I, I thought these were pretty cute. And the, the text that you can stamp um, adds some fun and versatility to the plate that, I mean, it can be used in conjunction with other stamping plates and uh, other Manny design. So this is a versatile plate. Uh, I, I'd already told you I prefer these cherries to the Manny, Mannyology plate cherries. Um, I think I showed you all of my favorite images. And for irony, these will pair very well with traditional candy shop uh, backgrounds, right? So that's, that's what I think about the hit the bottle plate. As far as the Mannyology plate goes, these full nail images are full of variety and good scenery design or Manny design or whatever. So they're, they're interesting, visually interesting. And I can just do this on a nail if that's all I want to do. So if you want to reverse this whole thing, or you just want to stamp that in, let me show you on a orange background. I stamp these in very light orange and that, you know, that that's what this sort of thing is great for. So, um, and these, believe it or not, are grosser designs in general than the hit the bottle plate. So this gets the macabre a little more on the nose, but uh, it is half the size. And even though it's cheaper, um, I don't know. I, another thing is uh, that 
I well, probably told you all of my favorite images on this one. Yes, I did. So, you know, they're both worth having. And I say that a lot because it's true. But I, I would use not just this one and the other ones like it, but I would use these in conjunction a lot. So just think about this. And this was teamwork between the two plates. Um, I, I'm not going to tell you which one to get, but I will tell you that probably my favorite out of the two. No, there's no choosing. <laughs> okay. I mean, hit the bottle always wins, right? I, I don't know. But uh, I hope you liked those. Uh, please comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me uh, what your favorite Manny was. Tell me if you like the new stamping polishes. Tell me what your favorite swatch stick was and maybe what your favorite plate is. I want to talk to you. You're seeing me again because I forgot to show you the swatch paper plate. I always do this. I forget something and I'll think that I'm making great time on a... Anyway, I've really shown you most of this, so I won't be too long. This is for the hit the bottle plate. There's those zombies, those snake things. Love that tombstone cupcake. More with the dirty martinis. I just really like these. All right, so that's it for those. This one says, look at like an ice cream. Um, as far as the maniology plate, here are my swatches of those. And the links are at the bottom in the description box. My job is done. I showed you those. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.